My name is Damon, and today we're talking about the socks movement. Cool and Wild wow Radio team, and we are doing the socks PSA promo, all that good stuff. It's uh, this is really truly amazing. I have to tell you, like I never envisioned it even getting to this point. Like I just wanted to give some socks away to some folks, and look what God will do if uh, if you're willing. It's pretty cool. SOX stands for so others can keep striding. SOX, yeah, it, it really just happened organically. It was kind of like a fluke, but a good fluke. I recently joined a church, uh, Alfred Street Baptist Church in Alexandria, Virginia, and I was just anxious to give to the congregation. I wanted to be a part of the body and contribute. So uh, I joined uh, one of the discipleship groups and they sent an email out announcing that the church would be turning into or hosting a men's shelter. So I signed up to volunteer, help prepare the meals and spend the night with the gentlemen. Um, that night they just kind of, I think they knew one another, a lot of them were, were familiar with one another so they were in conversation most of the night and a large part of the conversation centered around socks. Um, not just undergarments but specifically socks and it, it kind of was I guess to me a little peculiar because I figured of all the things that you would think someone would really pay attention to if they're living you know outside you know on the street uh, you would think food shelter but they talked a lot about socks so eventually I, I fell off to sleep and when I woke up the next morning I was thinking about socks as well and the, the name or the acronym just kind of popped in my head so others can keep striding and I was like hey that that socks socks wow that's pretty cool and uh, I just kind of hopped up went about my day and forgot about it um, until maybe a year or so though after a year later I was building Steam America and things were they were tight at that moment things were getting a little tough and all i could think was i want to give i want to give i didn't have much to give i had this idea that i, I kind of slept on for years so i said let me try to uh, see if people will do this socks thing and to my surprise the first few people i reached out to it was like it was really crazy because they would be like man do you realize like, i got just gathered up all these socks and was about to give them away or you know my god was like i just told my husband that he had to clean out his sock drawer and so those coincidences caused me to really think like maybe there's something to this and, and here we are the mission is very simple we collect socks we give them away uh, at some point i'd like for it to grow maybe to something more you know when we're maybe combating homelessness on a broader scale or we're offering more supplies or resources to uh, folks that are out there as well. Uh, 2014 was a great year. That's when we kicked everything off around about end of June, early July, uh, with a goal to collect a thousand pair of brand new socks for homeless citizens in the Washington DC metropolitan area. Uh, I'm pleased to report that we exceeded that goal and we actually collected 1,167 pair of socks for our homeless citizens. And so that's really exciting. The vision, well, our primary goal is to raise 4,000 pair of socks uh, for the homeless this year and also to expand our offerings if possible. So we want to give out small hygiene products, toothpaste, soaps, things of that nature, even feminine hygiene products um, for our women who are out in the streets. Uh, I'm really excited to be teaming up with Wild WOW Radio to host our first event in the spring. And we hope to galvanize more organizations around this movement and really see where we can go. Again, this is a grassroots at its very core. And so I don't have necessarily a five year plan. Uh, right now, our goal is 4,000 pair. And I'm, I'm really excited actually just to see where the momentum is gonna take this thing. Our movement serves all homeless people. We don't pay attention to race, color, creed, age, or, or anything like that. Our, our goal is just to spread love and by giving away socks, that's our medium just to, to be in contribution to other people. And we have a couple of different ways that folks can join the movement. You can order via our Target registry. Um, I have folks that reach out to me via email and say, hey Damon, what's the PO box address? I just wanna send you a box of socks. And we're in the, in the process of initiating a new method of donation, which is our socks boxes. 
And so what we're gonna do is partner with churches, schools, different organizations in the community, and basically set up a box with some, you know, some flyers and, and some promotions, some signage. So when people come to that business or that church or that or that workplace, they can go ahead and drop a pair or a, a pack of socks in the box. It's actually really simple, which is, is great. Uh, we, we either promote it through social media, I reach out to my friends and family, and we just simply ask people to donate socks. Um, preferably new socks. New socks just won't do. I know a lot of times we have socks that are gently used and, and all that good stuff, but um, the folks who we are donating to prefer new socks, and so I would like to give them the very best. As of 2012, approximately 633,000 Americans were homeless. Of those, 51% were male, 24% female, and unfortunately, the fastest growing subset of the homeless population was children with families. If there are some individuals who want to partner with us, they want us to um, donate some of the socks that we have surplus to their organization, they can reach out to us on the website as well at SocksMovement.org or you can email us directly at SocksMovement at gmail.com. Anyone who wants to give back is the perfect candidate to give back, um, but schools are perfect. Uh, you know, because I think one great thing about working with schools is we can really get the youngsters involved in giving back in philanthropy at a young age. And I think that'll pay dividends moving forward. Uh, churches are a great place. Um, and other just local businesses. In five years, I'd like to see Sox as a real force in homeless charity. Uh, we'll definitely continue to give socks away. Uh, I definitely would like to expand the offerings in terms of what we provide for people in the street. And I, I think ultimately, I, I'd like to provide some kind of solution for homelessness in general. You know, I think that would be the, the long, long term vision. Um, because a lot of times, you know, things just happen. You know, and to provide some kind of resource to get people back on their feet so they can feel good about themselves and be a, a contributing member to society, that's an exciting thing. So if we can grow to something like that, uh, that would be amazing. The phone booth just identify who's out here first and foremost and just walk up to them, say hello and ask them if they like some new fresh socks. You know, it's a pretty simple plan, that's what I like about it. It's real simple. So, you see this gentleman right over here. I'll start with him. There may be some people across the park. It's hard to tell from this vantage point. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pair of socks. I think they're all men that I see right now and just walk up to them and see what you know, see what's going on. I also have a couple pairs of shoes in here, so they wear a size 12, baby. Look. Oh, all right. All right. It costs money to do what we do. Um, it costs money just to get back and forth to where the homeless folks are so that we can give them the materials and the resources. Um, with flyers, brochures, there, there are just certain inherent costs in just making this a possibility. So anything that you can do to just help us continue working, that would be great. And also so that we can expand what we do. You know, when we go out, like for instance, right now it's winter time, it's cold. I would love to be able to bring hot chocolate sandwiches and, and other food items along with socks um, to make it even more comfortable and amenable to the people out there. And so the only way we can do that is with your help. You can donate a couple ways. So visit us on the website at socksmovement.org. Email us directly at socksmovement at gmail.com and we can give you some more information. You can also click the link on our website to our Amazon wish list. If you're connected to Amazon, that could be a really streamlined way to see what, you know, what we need and send it right out to us. I feel like God gave me this idea, um, so I really don't take any ownership of it, but I take the stewardship of it very seriously. And so, um, aside from the fact that I like helping people, aside from the fact that I know what it's like to not have a home, I, I feel like this is something that, that God wants me to do, and so I, that is why it's so important to me. Okay. This is what life is all about, y'all, like real talk. Like, this, this is everything right here. Everything. 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 <laughs>